Perhaps one day I'll cross the void between what you can't see and what I so strongly feel. Maybe I'll find a better word to use, because dysphoria never seems to cut it. You sigh and roll your eyes, wondering why I let this small thing get to me. You cannot comprehend the significance of this tiniest event. And why would you? You never thought much on the basic social constructs. You think my sudden low mood over a pronoun slip is silly. But that slip tells me that perception is still wrong. People look at me and somehow still see me as I was. And while the basics of me haven't changed, a large part has. I found myself. Yay! But that doesn't make life simple. Now I psychoanalyze the stereotypes and try to fit them. Except I don't. Your biggest fear is that I'll change. So I won't. But then I'm not acting enough like a guy for you. It's a social battle I'm doomed to lose. The only way I can truly comfortably be me is through physical transition. Because you still look at me and somehow see a girl. My voice automatically tells your subconscious to you, she and her. You're confused by my severe depression, but you don't see all these loose connections. I need to be myself, but ingrained beliefs and automatic reactions make this impossible. The assumptions made, both before and after someone learns I'm transgender, before I'm just a dyke, or someone trying to stand out. Then you learn the truth. Suddenly you feel you can ask questions, the kind that if I were to ask you when no knowledge of trans were given, you'd most surely be offended. Yet because I am different, a strange taboo, you're allowed to strip me of my rights. Rights you never realised you yourself always had. Now I'm suddenly not Alex, not a human being with their own mind. I am transgender, your transgender friend. Not for long though. Suddenly I must be a wealth of knowledge, but you are mistaken. No transgender experiences alike. Our only similarity is the pronoun slips, because in that moment when we're misgendered, it's an electric shock, a slap across the face, raising hairs on our skins, making us want to retreat, feeling incomplete. When it happens, you feel a fool. What was I thinking? Believing you'd see me as a guy. There was nothing I can do but persist, because despite some people's opinions, this wasn't my choice. When you screw up my pronouns, you invalidate me in my entirety, with one stupid fucking word. Still don't get why I'm upset? Then go away. I've lost my patience with your ignorance.